well, 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 well. Let's try this again. Good morning, people. Happy Sunday, my people. This is Crystal Taylor, again. The owner of Fitness is Not a Game, the leader of the Black Health and Fitness Revolution. I am a health and fitness coach who helps women move off of the scale and into the size of their dreams for good. If you are here, if you can hear me, let me know that you can hear me and I sound okay this time in the comments. If you are watching on replay, which a lot of you will probably catch this on replay, please type a replay in the comments so that I know that you uh, came and watched. Hey, Joy made it back. And I, see, and always, Joy said her water was on fleek when I tried this the first time. I still have my water. Let me know if y'all got water. Yeah, Joy says it's much better. Let's go, baby. That's why I say technology could be your best friend or your worst enemy, but that's cool, though. We're going to keep rocking and rolling. Sound is perfect. Yes, yes, yes. So y'all let me know where y'all are watching from. I am here in the south suburbs of Chicago, hence the sweatshirt is pretty cool here, <laughs> but that's all right. We're going to get this thing going. All right. Checking the comments. So today, today I decided to do all convenience stuff because so often people say, man, I, 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 I mess up with my eating because I either don't have the time i don't feel like cooking so i just skip it or i end up going to grab something that i know is not uh the best decision for me because i don't i just don't have the time to even think about it anymore right so i was like okay let's do some things that are quick and easy that can be done that can be eaten even in the car so even if you run it you can still eat a healthful meal on the go all right, so let me check these comments. Yes, 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 y'all. People piling in. Tag it, folks. Let them know where we going. Yes, water on deck, watching from Jersey. Joy says she needs this sweatshirt. So Joy asked me when I was on here last time. I said, I'd rather be at the gym. I think y'all can see that. I hope y'all can see it. Um, and this is funny because I created this when I was going through all my health and fitness stuff issues. My feet were jacked up. I had surgery for C. And I'm like, man, I'd rather be at the gym right now. A lot of people feel that way, especially since the gyms have been closed. So that's why this is on here now. Uh, but yes. Uh, yes, come on, healthy meals on the go. So what are we doing today? And I'm still going to do this in about 30 minutes. I'm watching my timer, even with the talking. Today, we are going to make breakfast wraps and lunch wraps. So we're going to do both of them differently. Now, I'll tell y'all this. You can put dang on near anything in a tortilla and your girl gonna eat it. I ain't gonna lie. I love a dog on tortillas. Um, but, you know, I'm always looking for healthier options and stuff. Not saying that it's completely healthy, it's the best, and this is gonna be so great, blah, blah, blah. Healthier. That's all we're doing is trying to make better decisions, right? So, I have two different types of tortillas that I am a fan of. One is the whole wheat tortilla and then i found some low carb tortillas and you know a lot of folks are always trying to watch their carb intake so either one of these are pretty cool anytime you see anything whole that means that the whole grain is there it's i'm, I'm telling y'all now multi-grain stuff is bs oh and i'll actually talk about that during the challenge this week about uh the misleading labels how to read them what's true what's not true if you have not signed up for the challenge yet you still have time we start tomorrow morning monday october 5th 9 a.m central sharp sharpity sharp we are starting and tomorrow we are talking about um how to read these labels we're starting the week off gut punching with the information so the link is in the description uh for this video so let's get started talking about what we're going to have. Hey, Grand Rising, Jennifer. Yes, yes, Joy, this shirt is COVID perfect because a lot of folks are still missing their gyms. Even though the, the gyms are open, people still leery. I'm one of those folks. All right, so what are we going to do? We are going to um, make, <laughs> for breakfast, y'all know I like switching things up. Most people like to do the same meats for breakfast. Bacon, sausage, ham, but today, y'all, mm, 
we using shrimp. Nice jumbo shrimp. We are going to make shrimp and asparagus wraps. Honestly, I was going to do broccoli. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, shrimp and broccoli. I ain't had no broccoli in my freezer. So I said, that's cool. I just go and throw this young asparagus in here. And the reason why I want to do this is because a lot of people know that they need more vegetables, but they don't know how to put them into their day. So by doing that, by throwing it in your wrap, you add a little more vegetables into your day. Now, if anybody is a fan of asparagus, like me, you know the after effects of asparagus. <laughs> if you have never eaten asparagus, uh, you know, I would just warn you now, your pee gonna stink. Your pee gonna stink real bad. Like the first time I ever had asparagus was when I was training for my competition years ago. And I had heard the myth, but well, I thought it was a myth. I heard it, didn't believe it. Used the bathroom in the middle of the night. I actually woke my husband up in the middle of the night, two, three o'clock in the morning, thinking that something was wrong with the sub pump, y'all. I was like, babe, get out the bed. Something wrong with the sub pump. Because I had never smelled that before. So I'm just giving y'all a warning if you ain't never had that before. So we're going to do chicken, oh, chicken, shrimp, and asparagus with eggs for our breakfast wrap. And then for lunch, we're going to, uh, this one is going to be meant to be eaten cold. So we're going to do chicken, but we're going to add a lot of flavors to it. We're going to add some spinach, some to, uh, great tomatoes, some red onion. I love red onion, fresh red onion some cilantro but here's the thing we gonna you know because i like tricking the palate right because that's the key to um stand on track you don't want the food to be boring right so that's why i add the cilantro but then we also have a little balsamic just to get that kick and we gonna sprinkle some crazes in there y'all just to get y'all a little sweetness because i know a lot of y'all got sweet too so let me know if y'all ready for this Still going to get this done in 30 minutes or so. Yet, nah, Joy, you're right. Asparagus ain't loyal at all. So let me start by, of course, washing these young hands. Y'all know I, I can't do nothing. Stop washing hands. And honestly, I'm only going to make a, a couple of each because, again, y'all, stop being intimidated by the phrase meal prep. It does not have to be hard. It does not have to be challenging. It does not have to be a whole bunch of meals. Prep just means you've either prepared parts of the meal so that you can cook it later, or you've prepared for some of your day, prepared for some of your week. It does not have to be all that stuff y'all see on the internet with all that, um, with the 50 million containers. It doesn't. So I'm probably going to make two or three of each, depending on how much I can get out of these. Um, but yeah, it does have to be a lot. And I don't know if you can y'all see. I told y'all I made some muffins too. The oatmeal, uh, breakfast cupcakes. The recipe is in the resource guide that's part of the challenge pack. So if you haven't gotten it yet, get it. They are delicious. Put a little cinnamon and uh, chocolate chips in there too. But that's a whole nother, whole nother discussion. So let's get to it. First thing we are going to do, go on, get this chicken together. Because I believe in taking care of the harder stuff first. Um, so let me, I got stuff everywhere, y'all. All right, so I'm going to go and chop up this chicken. I just got two chicken breasts, and honestly, I could have done one, uh, to cut it across, uh, go across the different wraps, but, um, if y'all don't know, I got a little gremlin in the house who likes to, uh, eat the meals that I prepare, so... I was like, if you don't make a little bit of extra, it's going to be a problem. And real talk, another reason why I decided to uh, make extra is because, like I said, preparing is just about making sure you're ready for the next meal. Um, and y'all see I'm just making little chunks. So any chicken that I don't use in these wraps, I'll just keep on hand in the fridge for when I want to make a salad or if I just want to add some uh, chicken on top of something else, make it with some rice or um, just want to have some chicken and vegetables or whatever. But it's just cool to have something already made because we all know we get to those points where we're like, man, I ain't, I haven't eaten all day. Well, I ain't ate all day. Let me stop trying to say, oh, I haven't eaten all day. But I ain't ate all day. So it's so cool to be able to open the fridge and see that you just have some stuff already put together. Because I'm the queen, well, something already made. I'm 
the queen of putting together a lunch. I don't care. And I told her, I don't like wasting foods. So I am quick to just look and see what things are in there. And I just put it together. If I got some rice, I put it on some rice. If I find some, some quinoa, sweet potato, whatever, I just throw it all on there. It don't matter. Right, Joy said, make sure there's enough for Freddie. Look here, Joy. You're going to stop uh, bumping, bumping for your boy. Look, greedy stuff. All right. So let me go heat up this yum. I'm going to use the bigger one for my chicken. All right. So I'm just going to heat this up. And honestly, because I want to keep it as light as possible, I could use like some coconut oil or something like that. But I'm just going to use a little olive oil nonstick spray. Y'all know where I got it from. So don't nobody ask me, where did you get that one? Y'all know I get it from Aldi. Matter of fact, anybody got a hook up with Aldi, let me know. Because I need to be a spokesperson. <laughs> All right. So the seasonings for my chicken. Y'all know I just like to play around with seasons. I don't care what I use. But today I'm going to make keep it simple. Um, little onion powder. And I know y'all know that label. That's not Aldi. My folks know where that's from. That's the Tarjay. Um, garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash, y'all know I love her. See, we're doing all this low sodium stuff, no sodium. You got to get that flavor on there. And then, y'all, this is like my little, um, uh, my little secret recipe. This is Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning, and it's salt-free too. My stepmom put me up on this a long time ago, and it just adds a different flavor that you're not... Um, typically used to and again like I said I just like to play around with seasons and see what they gonna make me think and feel so why not why not get these out of the way massage these around a little bit get that seasoning on it all because literally all we gonna do is cook these a little meats we are going to then chop up our little veggies that go in it and we rolling pan of pot tell me um am i the only one who will eat dog on almost anything in a tortilla i can't be the only one uh freddy was talking about he sure is hungry look here so he came down here while i was making those dog on muffins i told y'all that I, I don't like wasting food i, I look and I saw my dog on uh, bananas were getting too ripe. And he come down talking about, ooh, what time we eat we? Bam! You didn't even take French. What is you talking, boo? What is you talking? Joyce so said, I struggle with knowing uh, what to get at the market in order to have good things for hand to cook. Can you share some tips with that? Absolutely, Joy. So, no, I'll be, I'll be I can't even get through the dog on shows I'm cleaning. Um, so Joy, one thing I honestly do, I will go to the seasoning aisle and I will literally just grab different seasons. And so when it's time to cook, I have so many options. And I'm like, oh, let's see what this is and what this is. So the basics though that I get would be, um, making sure I'm not going to get a lot of seafood. So I'll go to uh, the frozen Look at y'all, don't y'all sleep on the frozen section. I get my frozen seafood, I get my frozen vegetables. I can easily pile up my whole car with that because as long as you got those, you can make it work. Seafoods and vegetables, I mean meats and vegetables, right? But then what I also uh, like to get, I will go get like the boxes of quinoa, couscous. Um, I will get um, sweet potatoes, always stay on hand. Because you can do a lot with sweet potatoes. You can bake them, you can mash them, uh, you can roast them. You can do all types of stuff with that. So I try to make sure that I have a good balance. But at the same time, keeping it real, I say, okay, can't eat the same things all the time. So I will switch it up, find me a pasta sometimes. Uh, or it depends on what, how much I plan on eating, right? So sometimes I'll say, you know what? I'm in a mood for a pasta, but I don't want to eat a lot of heavy stuff, so I might go get some zucchini to get some uh, to make some 
uh, I call, what they call them, zoodles um, from my baguette, but it's really just making sure you have a good balance of your proteins, your carbs, y'all start running for carbs, and veggies, and I'm telling y'all, frozen areas are the bay, and a lot of people are afraid to get like frozen vegetables, you think you have to get fresh, but you do not. A lot of times when we buy fresh vegetables, they end up going bad. Um, but the great thing about these frozen ones are that they are frozen at the peak time of the nutritional value. So these are perfect. They're perfect because we know that we can buy vegetables and they could be um, not, uh, they haven't, they haven't, um, what's the word, mature, but they're still raw. They're not good. So no, get your, get your dog on frozen. So I hope they helped a little bit. Um... <laughs> Fred. Good morning, Johar. Uh, you know what, Johar? You know I asked if y'all got water. But since Johar asked, y'all drink up. Cheers. Mm hmm. Johar, we're going to be friends. Yes. Mm. Iris is in NYC. Yes. Hey, y'all. Uh, Fred has his water. Yes. Um, uh, Leo. Leon Seiko, if I messed that up, I'm so sorry. I, I don't like doing that. Please let me know in the comments how to phonetically pronounce that. Um, how good is eating meat from... Oh, you're from Equatorial Guinea. Welcome. Yes, yeah, so the thing about meat. Meat is not bad. <laughs> it's not. Um, what it is, is difficult for our bodies to digest and break down. So, you'll find that when you eat a lot of meat, you will find sluggish. You'll find that sometimes your belly feels bloated. Sometimes you'll feel that you are heavier. And a lot of times it's because you are heavier because that meat is still all up in your colon, especially beef. Beef is the hardest. But it's not bad. Everything in moderation. Um, but let's keep it real. You do not have to have meat to get protein. You do not. People who are under that um, impression so much and that is so just not true um but if you like me have it in moderation all right so the chicken is done i'm gonna let that cool off a little bit now we're gonna get to this here shrimp i told you i'll do everything on camera so y'all can say oh but you already had this prepped you had this done all i did before we came was defrost my chicken and my shrimp that's it that's all i told you i buy everything frozen do not get it twisted do not um fred don't you bring yourself down here Johar says, this is my margarita count. Not for your water. Stop playing with me. Don't do me. Don't do me. All right, so my strip is already uh, defrosted. All I'm going to do, take these shells off. And these some nice big babies. So since they're nice jumbos, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these in half so they can spread across and last a little longer. And I'm one of those people. I like to taste every flavor in every bite. So, it's no need me having one big old jumbo shrimp and then I bite it the next time and it ain't nothing but eggs and asparagus. No, fam. I want all of it every time. And I got my garbage bowl in the sink. Ooh, these shrimp. Y'all, I think I hear movement. Y'all better come get your boy. I, I hear movement. I hear movement. Uh, Joyce says, yes, Joe Hart. You know what? I can't wait for tomorrow either. I, this challenge is going to be so, so dope. I can't wait. Uh, Joy, okay, I freeze your muffin. I swear if if I see a little hand come around the corner this time, oh, y'all didn't see me threaten him with a knife. I'm, I'm about to cut my shrimp. That's all I'm doing. Y'all didn't threaten that man. I didn't threaten that man. Y'all know I did, but I'm just cutting these shrimp in half. Because they're so big that I could probably do thirds. Yeah, because we're going we gonna to get this shrimp in every... I knew yo, Y'all, get your boy. I knew I heard him creep, but I'm like, I hear move. Boy. <laughs> y'all, he makes me so sick. He makes me so, so, so sick. Joy, come get your boy. Joe Hart, come get your boy. All y'all, come get your boy. Oh, y'all, my gosh. Oh. So I cut my shrimp in half. Now I'm just gonna season this shrimp up and I'm gonna do the same thing. Saute it on the stove real quick. Oh, that's the other thing about the chicken. I prefer to just saute it on the stove like that as opposed to baking it. That's another thing. 
you know, when you baking it, it takes a lot of time and it can dry it out. So with soft, <laughs> y'all go get your boy. <laughs> he makes me sick. But when you saute it, it makes it quicker and uh, you can retain the juice. <laughs> y'all, I can't with him. All right, goodness grief. So what seasoning? Oh, goodness. Always use Old Bay. But my folks who said they can't find that Old Bay, I'm sorry. But I love my Old Bay or my seafood. Are you serious? How many do you go eat? Are they, come here. Come here, Fred. Uh, no, for real. How they taste? Because I haven't tasted them. Fire. I, I added a little extra vanilla. All right, right, so I'm just adding Old Bay. You know, I'm going to put a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Any oatmeal raisins? No, oatmeal raisins. Oatmeal chocolate chip. Mm. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Y'all come get your boy. <laughs> Joy said to creep up his ethic. <laughs> you know what? Th this husband of mine, y'all, man, for real, I can't. So I just add a little Cajun seasoning. I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, nope. This time, I'm going to use a little butter non-stick seeds for my shrimp. Because it's breakfast time. You think about eggs and all that stuff. People know they like their butter with their eggs. Get the butter flavor with the non-stick. Massage that on up a little bit. Oh, my song on. I know y'all can't hear it, but it's Under the Sun by Dreamville. I love J. Cole. I swear he's my little cousin. He just don't know it. When the world opens back up, I will invite him to lunch to Thanksgiving. I ain't even joking. I've been saying it for years, and it's going to happen. All right. So we got the shrimp going. And we know shrimp takes no time. Oops, sorry for all that noise, y'all. Takes no time to cook. Let me wash this off one more time. Because then we got vegetables. We always want to do our meats first. Well, actually, the vegetables first and then the meat. But uh, I work back. Actually, I just want another dog on board. Because that's what I usually do. But I'm going to go and rinse this one off. Let me see. Uh, Joy said, uh, you yeah, asked how they taste. Based on the three cents, I'm going to say they taste good. Right. That dude is, oh, Fred, you in the office working? Okay. That's what we on now. So you're going you gonna, to you gonna lie to me in front of the whole world. Yes, this group is the world. That's how dramatic it is. You're going to lie to me in front of the whole world, huh? That's what we on. All right. The shrimp are basically done. Oh my gosh. Oh, they smell good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling y'all, stop eating the same thing every morning, says the chick who loves oatmeal and egg whites every morning, right? Well, I do that after my workout. But, like on my weekends, and honestly, I'm so glad I'm re, uh, I re, uh, brought this segment back because y'all making me get out of my own shell. Because I do, I just like oatmeal and egg whites. I don't eat it because I feel like I'm supposed to. That's what's good for weight loss. No, I just like them. Um, these are good. Y'all know that I'm to overcook the shrimp. But, um, oh, that's what I needed that other. Doy, I need another one for my eggs and my this is what we're going to do. I'm going to get this young shrimp up out of here. Now, now look here. Let me tell y'all something. Before anybody uh, have kind of, this is the thing. Let's be absolutely clear. Crystal is nowhere near chef. <laughs> Crystal just likes to eat. And Crystal likes to share what she eats so folks can stay on track. Y'all in my kitchen for real. That's what I call in the kitchen. This is how I go in the kitchen. A lot of times, I make up stuff on the fly. But I have y'all in here with me so we can talk about the, the thought process I have when I'm grabbing stuff. And just like, oh, so the chicken wrap that we're going to do for lunch, I don't even remember how I came up with that. One day I was like, oh, I just want some different flavors. And so years ago, maybe about six years ago now, my my nephew was in the hospital. He was he was super sick. Um, he was in there. He was in there for a while. And so I went 
and I took my sister some, you know, take my sister some food, bring the family some food. So I made these wraps. My sister called me like, baby, what was in that wrap? And I'm like, it's the simplest stuff. Let me take pictures of the ingredients. And that's, it's super simple. So what I'm gonna do now, y'all, I'm gonna go, and I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna cut up a few of these because I know I'm not gonna, I'm just taking it, it's the steamable asparagus. I'll cook the rest of them later. I'm just going to chop these up to tiny bits too. Because I told you, I like my flavor through everything. Maybe one more. One more. And we're going to make these asparagus and eggs. And then we'll have everything cooked to get ready to uh, put them all together. Let's see what questions y'all got. Um, uh, seriously, Fred, I torture you with my hammer. You know what? What we're not going to do is that. Um, let's see. Joy says, at least you both have fun with each other. He all right. He all right, Joy. He, 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 he all right. He, he drive me crazy. He drive me crazy. Uh, Fred says, man, you do things on videos and apparently didn't happen. So then, fit. right. Did nobody see? All right, I said, it's not like I threatened anybody with a knife. I just so happened to have that knife in my hand because I was cutting up stuff when he came in. Don't y'all agree? Let me know in the comments if y'all agree with me. And again, since we're doing eggs and stuff, going to use some more butter spray. Y'all like, we're 20 minutes in and it's not together yet because I'm running my mouth and fighting with my husband, <laughs> trying to keep him away. All right. So I'm a, got the uh, the skillet going. So I'm about to put this asparagus in there first, cook it up a little bit. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start cracking the eggs. So my plan is to make three wraps. So that's why I have six eggs. I'm going to do one egg and one egg white. <laughs> Y'all know how I am about my egg whites. I love them. Oh shoot! Dang it! But see. That's why I start trying to do my separations first with my egg white, because that always happens. Goodness, they trying to fall up in there. Come on now, stop playing with me. Let me get my separations going first. Then I'm going to show y'all whole things in there. Y'all ain't supposed to see it. I'm over here talking to my food. Uh-oh, my skillet is hot. And I ain't in the food, no. Hey, if anybody got to connect with J. Cole, tell him his cousin he ain't never met said holla at him. I love that little dude. Uh-oh, there we go. So now I can just crack all these up in here. Oh, who didn't get the pepper? Who didn't pull the pepper out? Fred, since you up there stealing stuff, you could have been grabbing pepper. That's what you could have been doing. Yes, let's see. Everyone send us those emojis to help. Uh, people coming in to be curious about what's going on. Yes, Joe Hart, you know what? You all right with me? You better go ahead and build this group. Yes. Hey, Nikki. Yes, Nikki, Nikki. All right, so my skillet is hot. Y'all about to hear this get loud, too. My bad. It's popping a little bit. Over here, sorting, separating eggs and chit-chatting. I got to have the heat up a little high. Uh, for these eggs, just adding a little pepper. Uh oh, almost out. Almost out. Get these ready. We ready. Oh, y'all can't tell. I'm a whole fool. <laughs> and I like to have fun. I cook. I mean, laugh and dance when I cook. That's another thing. You got to make it enjoyable. If you're looking at cooking as something that's a torture, excuse me, torture, then you're not going to have fun with it. You're not going to eat it. You're just going to grab foolishness. Typically, I will be in here with my music blasting. I may or may not do a little twerking. I don't know. Let me see. Um, it could happen. All right. Let me arrange this up so I'm let those asparagus go a little bit. And while that's happening, this is what we're going to do. So basically, for the most part, we almost done. I'm just going to chop up a little bit of these tomatoes. I guess I could do three of those two. So I'm doing three and three. So I have three breakfast 
three three lunches, six meals done in about about 30 minutes. I be telling y'all 30. I ain't say 30 under. Look here, I don't get no award <laughs> for being 30, but I just want to show you how quick, how quickly it can be done. It can be done quickly. It does not take a lot. So we're not going to cut up the spinach. Not cooking the spinach this time either. Since that's going into, oh, this is fair. This is good. Since that's going into the lunch wrap, we're going to have that fresh. Because remember I said I want y'all to just eat that cold. With the breakfast one, of course, we're going to wrap it up, throw it in the fridge, and those you can throw in the microwave. And I want to show you what I do for the, to know the difference. So, Hold. All right. Wrong time. All right. So I have two different colors of saran wrap, red and clear. So that way I know I'll wrap one meal in red, one in clear. So that way, again, we are talking about saving time. Nobody wants to go into the doggone uh, refrigerator like, which one is, which one is, the unwrapping trying to open and see. We are talking about making this fast, right? So I'm gonna let my eggs cook a bit. And so with these red onions, we just gonna make little slivers. Don't chop it. I told you I like the flavor to go all through. So I like to make little slivers. Because sometimes like the chunks can be a little pungent and I don't want it pungent. I just wanna be like, oh, what's that flavor? Mmm, that's that onion. So that's why I make slivers. That should be enough for three. I might add a little more. Let me check on these young ears. What y'all saying in the comments? Whatever y'all do, don't listen to Fred Taylor. I'm just saying. Young know, shrimp never had with eggs. Yes, J Jennifer. Shrimp and eggs is my back, my thing. Uh, Joe Hart says, do I do this every day? I mean, broadcast some type of cooking. No. Joe Hart, so I do this every, typically every Saturday at 10.30 a.m. But yesterday, um, I had a conflict because I was in a conference all day. But I didn't want to skip um giving you all this information so i did it today but next week it'll be next saturday um let's see joy if you start twerking freddie definitely gonna be creeping back in the kitchen joy stop it uh and so you're going to do something before i so joe hart this is the before one you have one after the challenge but we're gonna keep it rolling because one of the unhealthy cycles and y'all if y'all not registered yet like joe hart Make sure that you type, click the link to get registered. Just because you're in the group don't mean you registered for the challenge. For anyone who has joined, who joined the challenge the first time in July, you still have to register this time so that you can get the emails and we have a few new things that uh, registered people get that you didn't get last time. We always add and improve and things, right? Um, but yeah, so one of the unhealthy habits um, and unhealthy cycles is not planning what you eat. Because if you fail to plan, somebody finish it with me. Come on, you plan to fail, there we go. So I will continue to bring y'all, um, to bring y'all different meals, all right? So the eggs and asparagus are done. Yeah, I think I want a little more. Oh, yeah. So we're going to put, because I'm letting those eggs cool a little bit, we're going to put the lunch ones together first. We're going to put that young chicken together first. All right. Tomatoes have already been ranched. That's one of the few things I did do before, because I did it before. Let's see. Hey, Kim Leah. Let's see. Who else up in here? You know what, Fred? Fred and Joy. I came with y'all. So with these tomatoes, I'm literally just quartering them. And I honestly like, like I could cut them directly into the wrap, but I like to cut them up first because sometimes I spray them out, it's not always even. But you do it how you like. But again, we just want that flavor. And cutting them up allows you to spread it out. All right, that should be good. That's do, 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 do. Cilantro! Mm, mm, y'all. Man, for anybody who does not like cilantro, what is you doing, baby? Like, how? How, Sway? Man, my son made tacos the other night. 
And I was the only one with cilantro, and I'm like, y'all don't want no cilantro? Nah, I'm good. Cheat yourself. I'm not going to cheat mine. Negative. No, no. Cilantro add that flavor. And again, we are tricking the palate, giving it all the flavors it can handle, baby. That's what's going to make you say, oh, that was good. And it was doggone helpful. You don't need all the cheeses and sauces and all that other stuff that you think you need. That ain't doing nothing but adding calorie and fat. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to be a little happy about it. However, when you look at the scale, look in the mirror, you're not happy when it was just because you didn't want to make a few little changes. So I'm just going to cut this up a little bit. And we're going to sprinkle these on these young wraps. Come on, cilantro. Mm. Y'all, this smells so good. And of course, when you have cilantro, what do you think of? Y'all know. Avocado. So, when you're ready to eat it, I don't believe in putting avocado on anything early. No, go. When you're ready to eat, that's when you add the avocado. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Let me check these comments. Uh, breakfast almost done. Hush up, Fred. Uh... I don't, I still eat as good for me. Let's say I feel about cilantro the way Freddie feels about Brussels sprouts. Joy! No, people! What are we doing? Mm, mm, mm. All right, so since the breakfast will be eating cold, we're going to do these in the clear wrap. I believe in uh, systems for everything. Red for hot means these are the ones you heat up. Ta-da! I'm smart sometimes, right? So what I'm doing is I'm just going to separate. I know I'm doing three of them. Let's say we do quick and efficient, right? So I'm just putting down my foil. We probably could just use half of these. Fred probably losing his mind seeing these full paper towels to use. Y'all, he is such the paper towel police. Do y'all know this man be making me tear half of the halves? What? I'm a... I'm a whole adult, and I can't even get a whole paper towel. Come on now, fam. All right. So, since they are going to be heated up, I mean, uh, oh, eating cold again. Let's go use these low carb ones, right? So, all we're going to do is put one down. Get my spatula. I use the spoon this time. All right. Gonna get a little chicken. Y'all ready to build? Get a little chicken. Fred Taylor, keep your tail up there. This is not for consumption today. And we just gonna stack on top, right? We gonna get... Oh, that's my son. My son is a good boy. His daddy, on the other hand, just getting a little spinach, putting it on here. God dang it, I thought it was my baby boys. Oh, damn, I know Freddie Taylor. Ooh. I smell, I smell the end is near. <laughs> it's not for today. Sprinkle a little bit of cilantro sure on Sure, it's it. not for today. <laughs> Y'all can't do nothing. Man, get a little bit of this red on you. Oh, my gosh. Get some of the tomato. And honestly, I know some of you like cheese. If you like cheese, you can put a little shredded cheese on there. Y'all, he trying to creep around like I don't see his big head going around. Oh my goodness. A little bit of balsamic just to add a little, little flavor. And then don't forget your craisins. Y'all, come get your boy. <laughs> Like, I really wish we had, like, a hidden camera in the house. And I only used a handful, y'all. Maybe, like, eight craisins. I'm like Joe from Because the this fool, do y'all hear him? <laughs> I, like, I, I, I'm working. And this fool up in here, and I've just wrapped it up, y'all, like a little burrito. This fool up in here, talking about he acting like Joe from you. Wrap it up in there. Go away. It ain't even much time. You need a taste test. No, I do not. They want to know. No, they don't. They need to know. They don't know when they make it. No, no, no. They need to <laughs> know. <laughs> Somebody help me. Y'all, what is happening? Got to be a little wrap. If you want to, good to pair with fruit, uh, for real chips, 
Uh, anything else you would typically put wrap? Honestly, they're so light, you could probably eat two if you wanted to. Um, but nice, quick and easy. When I tell y'all, all them flavors together, baby, y'all already know. And ooh, my greedy girl over here thinking like, next time, I put a little shrimp and chicken up in there. Mm-hmm. And if y'all in the comments laughing, Fred Taylor on his, uh, no, no taste test, Joy. No, 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 no. All right. Put a little, little bit of everything. Y'all see the order don't matter. As long as you got a little bit of everything to taste these flavors, especially the cilantro. Mm. Look at that cilantro. For you cilantro haters, get your life. Get your life. Like, who wronged you? Why would you not bless yourself with the amazing flavor of doggone cilantro? My gosh, it's so good. I was saying, y'all, this ain't gotta be perfect. We just trying to eat. And I'm just gonna wrap this up. Y'all hear my cousin? Anybody's a killer. All you gotta do is put it to the lips. Wrap this on up and then we're gonna get to that. Uh oh, y'all. Y'all see me tripping, sitting here wondering if Fred Taylor come back around here. I done messed around and didn't put the two amazing. Now I can't even find a double. <laughs> I done wrapped this thing up like it's gold. There we go. I done missed two of the best things. I missed the craisins and the dog on. Um, what's that? Balsamic. So busy singing in my head, get a little bit crazy. And y'all, with the craisins, I like to pour them in my hand so I can get a good visual of how much. Because sometimes you get to grabbing, you will grab a lot. And you saw I only poured, it's probably no more than eight. Because you just want the flavor to just be like, just surprise you. Like, uh oh, what was that? Like, was that a craisin? That's all you want. You don't want it to be a uh, doggone. Uh, Sugary wrap. That's not what we're going for. We're just going for some flavor, some stuff that you would like and eat. That's a little different. My wrap falling apart. That's all right, though. That's why I know you I put it up in this here for uh saran wrap because it holds it together. So when it's time to eat, it's all like married together. Let me see. Oh my goodness, Fred Taylor. Oh my gosh, let's see. Let me see what you nuts said. And when I say nuts, I'm, I'm talking about Joy and Freddie. Anybody else jumping on? My gosh, I'm gonna have to put y'all in the boat. Uh, Iris says she's definitely a carb addict and I know that has to change. So yeah, so if you saw Iris, I don't know if you were here or not, but these are actually low carb tortillas. So um, with everything, it's just about making better decisions. You don't have to remove stuff because this is the thing. Carbs are good for you. It's just a matter of which carbs you choose um, because there's a difference between simple carbs and complex carbs. Y'all, let me tell y'all. Man, that doggone carb crash is real with those simple, um, simple sugars. So, um, I told y'all I was in a conference this week. Um, I was in a conference from Wednesday on to yesterday. And it was, of course, the teleconference uh, here at home. So we decided to just order some food for lunch one of those days. Like, oh, let's order some food. Um, so one of those days we ordered Chinese. And um, so I ended up eating, like, the next day for lunch for leftovers or whatever. I ended up eating sweet and sour, uh, the sweet and sour chicken. When I say that dog on carb crash hit me in like 30 minutes, I was like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. Like it was just, um, it felt like it was immediate. Like I ate and all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I just want to go lay down and sleep. But when you have good carbs, like your, uh, your quinoa, your sweet potatoes and stuff like that, then they last longer, they help you feel fuller longer so you don't eat as much. And they help you sustain your energy because for my folks who are afraid of carbs, that's where we get our energy from. Carbs are good. Carbs are not bad. It's okay. 
All right. Well, that's that. And then I said, y'all see, it don't take long. It just be taking me long because I'm running my mouth. But this is actually something cool and fun you can do with your, your mate. Mine don't come help you, just come eat. Um, the kids, because it's just building. We're really just building. All right, so we've done all of that. So for the lunch, I mean, for the breakfast, it's even easier because all we have is the eggs and asparagus. Oh, and remember, we're going to use the red because we're warming it up as a reminder. Uh, but have the kids come help. That's the other thing about meal prep. A lot of times, especially when you're a parent, you eat crap because your kids want to eat crap. Um, but what we found, what well, what I found, well, I guess we found, um, with everything in life, when kids, when anybody has a role in it, they play a role in it, they take ownership of it, and they are uh, more prone to like it, more apt to like it. So we will have the kids come in and help us cook because then they're gonna eat what they cook. Now, what's funny is. My kids were swerving down. They ain't like mushrooms. They don't like this. They don't like that. I'm like, as much spaghetti as y'all eat, and you gonna tell me that you don't like mushrooms? Lies. You tell you just didn't know. You just didn't know. But when I have them cook stuff, like you know, that's how I introduce uh, mashed, uh, mashed steamed cauliflower as opposed to mashed potatoes. I let them mash it. I let them season it. So then they weren't saying like, oh, this is cauliflower. They got to play around with it. All right. So for lunch. I mean, for breakfast, we're going to start our day with the whole wheat tortilla. And I like to use this because we're going to microwave it, so this will definitely get these nice and soft. So all we're going to do is scrape these eggs. Make sure you get a little bit of everything. And so if anybody don't know, um, we came in, I just used, like, what, four asparagus spears. Um, and then I did... Uh, three eggs, three whole eggs, and three egg whites. And then I just used a little bit of a, I cut up some jumbo shrimp, sauteed it with some, I mean seasoned it with some Old Bay. Hold on, let me grab a fork. Hold on. Seasoned it with some Old Bay and some Cajun seasoning. Again, trick that palate. Give it flavor. It wants flavor. So imagine how you gonna feel when you first pull out this young rat and throw it in the microwave. You eat it and you be like, ooh, that's not bacon. That's not sausage. That's not ham. That's shrimp. And ooh, it's Cajun shrimp. Ooh, what's that crunch? That's asparagus? And then if you want to, like I said, you throw, look at the shrimp keep trying to run and hide. You better get on up in there. Then you throw, like, you might want to throw a little cheese on there. I know some of y'all like cheese. If you do, be mindful and just sprinkle. Do not grab whole, whole, whole handfuls, I mean handfuls, and then just throw it in there. All right, let me see what y'all say. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Um, ba -ba -ba. I'm just trying to. Trying to see, make sure I ain't missing nothing. Y'all got these comments popping. But let me know if y'all want to try these. If you think it's something that you can do. Something easy. Quick on the go. Oh, y'all voted for the taste test. Y'all are funny. Joe Hart, you on that team? You supposed to be on mine. What's the dealio? Oh, my gosh. They are not demanding. It is not a riot. Come on, Fred Taylor. You want the breakfast one? Come on. Don't see what you want. Joyce says she's having a car crash right now. Oh, we got rolls. Who let Freddie Taylor say we got rolls in this house? Come on now. Yes. So Jennifer says, I'm on day 29 of a 39-day raw detox that egg shrimp and asparagus is calling to me. Yeah, so let's let's talk about that real quick. Let's talk about a detox. Y'all see how quickly he came down here? Gotta give the people what they want. Which one we taste test? So which one you want? You want breakfast or lunch? Both. 
All right, break. Go away. Go away. Breakfast is lunch. Go away. Mm. You want to taste test them on, on, on the screen? I'll just taste test one. Mm. I'm kind of big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need to. <laughs> Y'all happy now? Mm. Johar? Yes. Joy? I see it's the J's that cause problems. I'm still calling you Jetty. It's the J's that cause problems. Call me what you want. Call me fool in a minute. Y'all come get your boy. Come get your boy. Hey, it smells great. What is that? Which one is that? Oh, the breakfast. I mean, the lunch. Mm. So that's the chicken, cilantro. Uh, oh, no. Oh, that's breakfast. That's the red one. So that's uh, shrimp, asparagus, and eggs. Mm. Oh, you smell the Cajun season. That's how can I smell something. Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> Mm. It's juicy. You always like it's juicy. <laughs> That's exactly what I was on to <laughs> mm. Don't give your feedback for the people. Because you, you fought to be down here. Yeah. I ain't got no feedback. I just wanted to eat. I'm hungry. Hey, baby boy here. Hey, baby. He probably wants to eat too. Y'all, I call myself making some some meals for me throughout the week. They ain't got me wrapping up stuff wrong. This is what happens. I get, but I get bombarded. Me, please, sir. Let's see. Joe Hart says, send emojis for everybody. Thank you. They say he's back. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer wants breakfast. Oh my God. Y'all, oh, so we were talking about the detox. Oh, I got a cramp in my toe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Woo, child. Oh, we were talking about the detox. So. I'm so glad to hear that you're doing um, the raw foods because typically, what? Oh, um, typically when people talk about detox and they think that they need to take these teas and these pills and basically just boo boo it up. That's not what a detox is. Detox means that you are detoxifying your body from all of the crap that you're eating. And so eating raw and clean vegetables, drinking your water. As a matter of fact, y'all, drink up. have nothing y'all can't even have water good lord we stayed in, in the kitchen you don't want me to drink no water <sighs> so anywho drinking your water and stuff like that that detoxifies too. your body they will really see something happen if you drink all my water and what's sad is i know you about to try to do it just to get under my skin <sighs> water hashtag water <laughs> Okay. okay, okay, I'm going, y'all. The, you, the, the, the rap is gone. Are you going to eat the other one? Or you going to eat that one? Mm -hmm. You going to go on taste test that one, too? I think I put no egg in here. Right, water is bay. Let's see. Oh my. Right, Jennifer. Oh, my God. I guess I shouldn't tell y'all make cream cheese pound cakes from scratch. Do you have an alternative version for me? Mm. You know, Iris, don't you mess with that recipe. You gonna eat that? And I'm gonna tell you what I make. I make sweet potato bread from scratch. That's what I do every Thanksgiving. That's my that's my contribution. Well, and other things too. But it was my mom's recipe, and I'm the only one who has it. So I make that for um, my family and my friends. Cause once everybody tastes it, then they everybody wants their own loaf for the house. So some things you don't mess with. Y'all, he just really trying to mess with me. Cause this fool don't even drink coffee. You don't even about? almost drink coffee. Yeah, I can't even do that. Right. You are such a child. <laughs> such a child. Somebody help me. Yeah, I'm going to save this for lunch. I got to drop my egg. Mm. God. Okay, I'll let you finish. Uh, let's see. Man, he put that whole, put his mouth around the whole thing. <laughs> Joe Hart. He green. He's greedy. It was good. He's greedy. Yes, Jennifer. Yes, Jennifer. The sweet potato bread is fire. Ah, Joe, are you right? I'm done. Y'all see, I'm done. And I know it took a while because I was talking, but it really does not take that long. Quick and easy. Thank you, quick and easy. But when you battling with your kids, your coworkers, come on in, baby. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. We're going to do this together. 
<laughs> With your coworkers. Wait a minute. Annoying coworkers. Um, but quick and easy, I just want to give y'all some examples of things that you can do on the go. Because so many people skip eating, don't eat, go through the drive through The making, see, I, I made three and three. I got two and two, but it's still, and this was 30, 45 minutes. And honestly, like I said, if I was just cooking and not talking about through it, I probably would have been done with each of them in like 20 minutes, 25. Um, but then I have two days, well, it was three days worth of food already ready. So let me know if y'all going to try it. Um, I'm checking these comments. Yeah, Joe, I'm done cooking for the day. I might get out there and grill, though. We'll see. He don't come out there with that, though. Ain't that something? Um... Joy, the recipe. So, my mom's sweet potato bread recipe. They know where it is. Uh, my oldest son is on deck to get it when it's my time. So, they know how to find it. It's just, right now, it's mine. So, yes. Uh, let's see. I thought you were going to tell me. That was, no, no. We're going to be good for his IRS. Look here. Baby. I don't believe in any restriction at all. And even though, so, y'all. Yeah, so, what I'll probably do, let me know in the comments if you want me to do it. But probably... Probably around Thanksgiving time um, next month, I do like a healthier soul food too. So I will show you how I change up a few things, but then there's some things you just can't mess with. You got to rock out with it. And there's no need to even feel bad about it because it's about a balance. So if I'm making this dish healthier, I can go ahead and go hard with this one if I feel like. Well, not go hard, but make it the way I want to. So, yeah, I was, we going to be good friends. I don't believe in restriction. Because, mm -mm. oh, you'll be so mad if you like, oh, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to add, I'm going to take out cream cheese and add mashed cauliflower. Oh, you'll be mad. Don't do that. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Um, so, Iris, for anyone, um, let's see. Oh, you're very welcome, Cass. I'm glad you can make it. So, for everyone... The challenge starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Sharp, but I am going to be back in about 45 minutes or so, and I'm going to do the official welcome, give you all, all the information that you need to know for the challenge this week. For anybody who has not registered yet, you still have time. The link is in the description. It's bit.ly slash BHFR. Five days stands for Black Health and Fitness Revolution Five Day Challenge. Um, so I'll see y'all back here in less than an hour, and I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow in the challenge. It's going to be fun. So, all right, let's see. Uh, Nika, you better go ahead and get them right with the time zone changes. That's what I'm talking about. Enjoy. I got you, boo. I got you. I got you. Uh, right, Joe Hart. He not going to come out there while I'm grilling. No. Mm -mm. Want, they said you don't want to get pulled over. No, I ain't called it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm just going to moan long, long because, oh my gosh, <laughs> there are no words. All right, peace y'all. See y'all in a little bit.